welcome back to my Vector C++ class tutorial. Uh, we left off on the overloaded constructor, then I ran out of time, but uh, let's just continue. So, once we have the overloaded constructor here, the next thing we added was our deconstructor. So for the deconstructor, we're actually not going to be using it. Deconstructor, but it's still important that we have it. So, users, users, and then just like that then that's our deconstructor, that's all we need for now or that's all we're going to need in this uh, little thing here and the next thing we have is our accessor functions so we need to define those, so how we define our accessor functions is we say string users and then we'll start with get username and then get username which is a constant what get username is going to do is it's going to return new username. And the next thing we have is string users gets password function constant and that's going to return new password. And the last thing we have is an integer users and then our scope and then get ID which is a function. It's constant and then we need to return new ID. Okay, so, oh, whoops, I don't think I defined these as accessor func. I don't know if I'm selling this right. Functions. Okay, so now we have our classes set up. I'm just going to run this to make sure that I didn't hit any errors. And yep, we are good. So now that we have our class set up, we can use it. So what you just need to do is you need to set up your main C++ file, include IO stream, string, vector, and you also need to include your header file. You don't need to include users.cpp, although sometimes you do. Depending on what IDE you're using, you some you might have to include this. So if you're running into an error that says like um, it's not being referenced, I'd suggest including your CPP file. But if you're using the .NET framework, um, you shouldn't have to include it. It'll just do it by default. So once you have all your includes, we can start doing this. So I just have my int main, my system pause, my return zero. So how do we go about creating a vector? Well, much like in the last tutorial, we'll just create a function to do it. So void create vec. And then this is going to be a vector, except it's going to be a vector of users, which is the class that we created. And then that's going to be ampersand because it is by reference. And then we're also going to be creating void show vec, and this is going to be a constant vector of users with the ampersand to show it's by reference. Okay, so let's start with our create vector function. So we'll call our void create vec and then our parameters are vector of users with the ampersand called new vec and then how we can add it is we can say uh, first thing we want to do is we want them to define how many users they want to add. So we'll say see out enter user or enter number of users and then actually we can also define our variables up here variables and so we'll just say int u size so user size and then we also want to string our username we want to string password and then we want to int id Okay, sorry, not quite sure where I left off, but uh, I think we're just done initializing our variables. So, so we said see out enter the number of users. So then we just want to see in u size, and now that we have our size, we can create a for loop. So we'll say for int i equal to zero, i will while i is less than u size, i plus plus. So now we have our for loop, and I just like to put spacing here. So what we want to say is C out 
enter username and then we'll see in username see out enter password and then we'll see in our password and then the last thing we want to do is we want to see out enter ID or we should make this capital enter ID and then we want to see in ID so this will get all the user information based on user input and so now how do we create a new class so what we have to do is we can just call our how we just define it like any other variable so we'll just say users new user and we can actually we can pass in our variables that we initialized here as parameters using our overload constructor so a new user and it takes two strings or I think it, I don't know if it'll say here but yeah it takes two strings and an integer so we'll take our first string of username our second string of password and our third string of ID so user new user ID so then how do we add it to our vector we just say new vec dot push back new user and now we have a new user into our vector so then the next thing we want to do is just display it so we'll do void show vec and this one took a constant vector of users with the ampersand for by reference and then here we can actually what we should do is we should create a variable an unsigned int called um, vec size and actually I have to define variable name new vec vec size and then this will be equal to new vec dot size and the reason that we want to do that is so that way it's not constantly referencing our header file and it'll just save us uh, time overall um, so what we can say now is we can do a for loop int i equal to zero while i is less than the new vec and then i will increment and then what we want to do is we just want to see out username and then we can call our new vec i and then we can call our uh, accessor functions so we want to say new vec i dot get username and we have to add that to show it's a function and then I'll just uh, end l here and then I'll say see out um, hold on a second oh whoops I didn't make unsigned int i um, that should have fixed it hold on a second oh uh -huh. I said vec, I have to say vec size, I said new vec by accident. Um, sorry about that. Um, so then we want to say password new vec i, so the current one dot get password, no not get username, dot get password, and we want to end l there. And the last thing is our id, and that is new vec i dot get ID and line. So then the last thing we have to do is we just have to create a vector of users uvec and then we have to say create vec uvec and then show vec uvec. So now if we run this I'm hoping there's not going to be any errors. Say so enter number of users. We'll just enter two and first one will be Ben, my name, password, just random characters, one. I think one will be Bob, and then random characters, two. And then there we go. It displays my username, my password, and then my ID. So everything works. So yeah, that's about it for this tutorial. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And all the source code will be in the description. So thanks for watching. Bye.